Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to import and export data from PHP My Admin, which is a MySQL database, the table into uh, Excel worksheet and also uh, from Excel worksheet data into a PHP My Admin database. So let's start the tutorial. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. First, I want to export the PHP My Admin database table into MS Excel worksheet. So here I just opened the PHP My Admin data and the server choice I'm selecting my SQL. Let's add the username which is a root. After that click go. After I log in successfully into my SQL PHP My Admin database, at the right side panel, there is a, some databases list here. From this databases list, I'm selecting the Charan database. And here we got all the database from the Charan, the tables, all the tables from this Charan database. For this example, I'm taking the student table, let's browse a table. And here we got the student records which contains three columns student id student name and gender now i want to export this data from php my admin database into msl ms excel worksheet so i notice at the top there is a export tab here click that one here in the export tab in the format from this list i'm selecting csv for ms excel after that click go and here we got all the data this is the data let's browse the table again id student name and gender right now we have 17 records here we got all the 17 records id student name and gender now we have successfully transferred the data from php my admin database into ms excel worksheet now here the problem is all the three columns is printed in the in the column in a single column now our next target is we need to separate these three columns id student name and gender into separate columns like id is column a student name is b column and the gender is a c column so for that we need to highlight the data control shift down arrow it will select all the records after selecting the records notice there is a data here click that one in the data tab and there is a text to columns option inside the data tools select that one click that one and here we got one small pop-up window open the text wizard as determined that your data is delimited. limited by default this radio button is selected if not selected select this one delimited click the next after that i am selecting the semicolon because wherever the semicolon is there in this list i want to separate that one so i am using semicolon i have selected the semicolon here after that click next then finish so here we got id student name and gender is separated we got all in different columns now let's do some format shift control right arrow it will select the columns down arrow it will select the rows now go to home let's put the uh, alignment in the center all the data in the center We'll add some size also. We'll increase the size, coding, and uh, we'll add some colors here. Colors. That's it. This is how we transfer from PHP My Admin database the student table in the Excel worksheet now i want to export the data from excel worksheet to p 
PHP my admin database. First, let's close this one. I don't want to save. Now let's import the data from Excel to PHP my admin database. So first, let's open one Excel file. Minimize the date and uh, browser. Notice on the desktop there is the Excel files folder. Here I have some um, Excel worksheets. I have selected payment details which contains three columns: customer ID, customer name, and city. And this this is the data I want to import in this database, Charan database. So first we require one new table. So create a table in this Charan database. Let's add the query SQL. Click the SQL to create a table. Create table. Let's add the payment underscore table. The table name is payment underscore table. CID, which is an integer. CID is a customer ID integer. And, and primary key, I'm adding primary key. C name. Var car, var car 150, and city also I'm adding var car 150. We have three columns: customer ID, ID, C name, and city. Let execute the statement. Here the table is created successfully. Let's open the browser Charan. Here the payment table. Let's browse the table. And here we got the results of this payment newly created table called payment table with three columns: CID, CNAME, and CT. Right now, this table contains zero rows. Now I want to import this Excel worksheet in this table. So what I'll do is I don't require this one, the header, delete that one first. Now here the most important step is make sure you need to save this file as a CSV format. So let's save this file first. Save as, I'm saving this file uh, on the desktop. Payment details, let's add the payments payment sheet and save the type is csv ms dot format save yes this is very important step we need to convert the excel sheet into csv format only then only we can successfully import the data in php management database so let's import this data payment sheet switch over to the web browser PHP my admin database let's import in this import notice there is a browser computer let's select the file the file I have saved on the desktop which is a payments sheet click open here we've got CSV file sheet then come to the bottom the format must be CSV select that one click go notice we got the message import has been successfully finished we got five queries executed because we have five records now let's browse the table see here we got now the table contains all the records customer id 1 Charan, Hatterbad, uh, customer id 5 is Kabir and Lucknow see this is a excel worksheet and this is a php my admin database that's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to export and import data from PHP My Admin Database into Excel worksheet and also from Excel worksheet to PHP My Admin Database. That's it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel. Catch you in my next video tutorial.